Underneath the pomp and ceremony of the British monarchy, a contemporary story of resistance, public perception, and power plays is being told. Nothing less than a Shakespearean drama enacted in the 21st century, the departure of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from the royal palace has been nothing short of a theater production. What are the machinations that are supposedly being used by the palace to influence the behavior and narrative of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? This is the question that everyone is thinking about. Join us as we dig into the complexities of royalty, highlighting the resiliency of a couple who are up against ancient institutions and revealing a subplot that may just cast a shadow on Kate Middleton's place as a member of the royal family. Not only is this discourse more than a tale, but it also provides a glimpse into the problems that are both deeply personal and terribly public. For a very long time, the British monarchy has been a source of curiosity and intrigue. It is a combination of stoic history and innovations that are reminiscent of soap operas. Recently, however, it has become increasingly apparent that the glittering hallways of the palace may also resound with strategies that are intended to mold and even manage the lives of the members of the palace. This royal conflict, which centers on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, sheds light on what may be nothing more than an institutional attempt to exercise control over the situation. From sharp news releases to subtle alterations in procedure, the palace's attitude toward the Sussex problem has come under severe examination. This scrutiny has been directed toward the palace. Supposedly, there is a calculated campaign that is not only aimed at swaying public opinion, but also at ensuring that Harry and Meghan continue to conform to specific expectations regarding the royal family. The use of these strategies, whether via mission or commission, hints at a more comprehensive narrative that is at play, which is one of control and containment. On the other hand, Harry and Meghan have not shown themselves to be passive puppets in this royal chess game. They have demonstrated a strong determination to fight back through their acts, which include the illuminating interview with Oprah as well as charitable endeavors and media projects. The public's perception is divided in every region of the world. As a result of the royal rift, nobody is indifferent about their acts. Some people applaud their independence, while others view their deeds with mistrust. In the middle of this turmoil, the Duchess of Cambridge has been moved to the forefront of public attention. A number of individuals contend that the representation of Kate in the media acts as a diversion from the contentious events that are associated with the Mexit. Some people believe that she is a participant in the conflict, caught in the whirlwind of royal responsibility and the tension that exists within the family. We have no choice but to conjecture about the part that she plays in the palace's game plan. It is possible that the assertion that the palace made an effort to remove Archie and Lilibet, the children of Harry and Meghan, from the royal narrative is the one that has caused the most controversy. There have been questions expressed concerning the extent to which the organization will go in order to preserve its desired narrative. These questions have been raised in response to actions as basic as changing a webpage or as sophisticated as redefining the line of succession. There has never been a time when the media did not play a key role in the narrative of the royal family. On the other hand, in this day and age of quick news and social media, their function is greatly amplified and even controlled. There is a common accusation that the media is a tool for particular narratives, that it exacerbates tensions, and that it fuels a fire that may have been nothing more than a spark if it had not been brought to light. In conclusion, the ongoing conflict between the Sussexes and the palace is a demonstration of the various ways in which the terrain of modern royalty is evolving. The battle between traditional authority structures and contemporary social norms is reflected in this. Regardless of where public opinion stands, it is highly probable that the story of Harry and Meghan will continue to challenge the established standards of the monarchy and continue to attract the attention of people all over the world for the foreseeable future.